Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you Season 2, Episode 8 of Sink Into Madness, a mod pack by John Bam and M1 Jordan Allen. So in the last episode, we created the Nether Portal and we created the Shuriken, which is an amazing weapon. It's still not unbreakable though, which is why we have to wait on Obsidian. But there's a couple of things that I kind of forgot about and that are important. Which is a good thing I went back to my list and took a look at everything that I need. Because one of the things that I need for the nether is some tacos. So that's absolutely a quest that we have to complete today. The only problem with the taco quest, uh, getting a taco, is luck. And I'll explain why luck. Basically, it's luck because I need four spices. So if I look in here... I didn't get a single spice. How many spice do I have in here? Three. Ah, oh. so I need four spices. Until I have four spices, I can't make the um, tacos. And I want to make a diamond taco because once we go to the nether, we have to survive. Absolutely. Like, I don't want to go there and die. I've told you guys this is the playthrough where I don't want to die ever. So it has to be it. I have to make sure that I'm going to survive it. And the only way to survive the nether is to be sure and have... I want to have both a diamond taco and a golden apple. So first, let's take a quick look. Can I even make a golden apple, apple right now? So gold. I have one block of gold. And yes, I have enough gold. It's very expensive, but that will be my last measure thing. Like if, if I'm about to die, I'm going to eat that apple. And it's something that you have to have one. You might need the gold for better things, but there is no better thing than not dying in this mod pack. So this is my super emergency survival mechanism. Then for the taco, let's let's do a search on taco. I need hello taco. So I want to make a diamond taco, and I need four spice and four diamond. I have enough diamond. That's not a problem. I need a taco. The taco is a soft tortilla and you can make a fish taco. Don't mind this. Soft tortilla is wheat, which means we're going to have to start a wheat farm. Well, let me just take a quick look. I want to have a hoe. Yeah, like so. I want to also get some dirt. Uh, not dirt. Dirt. Ooh, only one dirt. So I'm going to get some more sapling. Oops. Sapling to make some more dirt. Let's grab all of this. And I'm going to need some seed, of course. Uh, not the seed. And let me also grab the watering can. Watering can. Perfect. And let's make sure that I'm making the dirt. And while this is all waiting, I still need my one spice. So I'm going to take a look in here every so often. And you know what? I'm going to try something. Let's just... Take one spice, and I'm going to put the one spice in here. And the reason I'm putting the one spice in here is that if there's some spice back there being created, it should come in here. So now I'm waiting for two spice. I want to grab all of the coal because there's another thing I didn't think of, is that I want to make a mattock. And the reason I want to make a mattock is that in the nether, I'm going to have to try and get some, uh, some uh, soul sand. And a soul sand needs a shovel and or a mattock. So that's what I want to do. Let's put that in here and grab whatever we want. For the uh, mattock, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rock carbon, I think. I have to be honest, I'm not 100% sure because I don't remember if the um, shovel head and the axe head needs one or two ingot. But let, it's better to make a little bit more than not enough. We're also going to need some fish, so I'll put the fish to cooking right now. That's going to be for the taco, and let's see how many more coal block we can make. Six. And do I have any more coal in here? Yeah, I have a coal block. So seven. And that's one fish. You know what? I'm not going to need more than one fish because I'm not going to have enough spice to make the... Uh, the extra taco so we might as well not waste time on that let's go and plant this because we're going to have to start working on the wheat i want to work on the wheat at day not at night 
let's go in here put down this dirt put this down put down some more dirt there more dirt there I want to break this uh, and turn back my magnet on just so that I don't lose anything do I even have a normal axe yes so let's grab the normal axe and then let's use the hoe on all of this and I want all of the space so let's just break this for now and then I can put some seeds down it's not the max amount of seed so do I even have one more dirt yes I do perfect so let's go put that dirt down and we basically need five wheat so put this down and the last one use the watering can we we're going to need more wheat long term but for now basically we honestly just need one diamond tackle because like I said we don't have the spice for it the spice comes from drops from killing zombies and killing zombies with punji stick does generate spice but at some point we're going to want to specialize on spice like that's really the tackles are the way to survive you have to make so many of them that you're always when you're in danger you're always munching on a tackle you go out at night you grab a tackle you go to the nether you grab two or three tackles and make sure that you're always full on tackles which is what I didn't spam in the last season and that's what got me killed with the golden apple and with a diamond taco I feel confident that we'll be able to go to the nether and survive also with the diamond armor means nothing should technically be able to one shot us and I have my five so let's just harvest the rest and before I finish harvesting the rest I just want to turn this off and the reason you turn this off first is that if you're ever in a situation where you have to use a shuriken you actually can great so now that I have this done let's put all of this in here I don't need any of this right now the five wheat like this makes for a taco and I just need the cooked fish not fush fish the cooked fish I said and one cooked fish uh, really cooked oh <clears throat> sorry they're in my inventory so let's just do a fish tackle it's just gonna be easier fish tackle like this and now all that we're needing is the spice so let's look in here still only the one spice from the beginning I'm going to empty this a little bit because I don't want things to get jammed put it back in here I'm gonna grab keep the coal keep the gold and I'm going to go and refill the smell tree so that I'm producing ores as much as I can so this the copper the iron and the lead. lead 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 these are my standard and I'm going to grab the diamond redstone and lapis lazuli and I'm gonna put that in the pulverizer on my way in so let's just go take care of this quickly so in here I'm gonna put coal diamond lapis redstone let's grab whatever's in here and in there we're going to look yeah let's start with the raw carbon and then all of the other metals that we want and I'm going to remove this and I said I want an axe head and a shovel head so let's put that right here we're just waiting oh this is already melted perfect so let's grab this that's an axe head and the moment it's done replace it with the shovel head and then we're going to put back the ingot hello did I run out I did oh how much did this use I thought I was going to be good for more oh that that kind of sucks so let's put this in here just so that we can finish making our axe head and I guess I was out just by a little bit I'm not quite sure I understand how did I put some in here by mistake nope nothing in the casting basin so let's switch back to that finish casting this and how much is left 72 oh so I had a half a rock carbon that's probably what happened let me switch that out put back this and grab these and let's go back to safety I'm kind of risking it right now take this and get back to safety like I said okay so now from safety I'm still going to be making some more raw carbon because I might need to fix or repair my tools so that's eight 
I'm going to throw all of these eight in here. Then let's get rid of this and that. And now I need to craft a... I want to craft my Maddox. I'm going to need two of these and I'm going to need my my table, my part builder. Part builder and the tool rod. So tool rods right here. Not the stencil table, the part builder right here. I'm just going to set it up temporarily here. So I can do this and get that. And the reason I'm using wood is, again, ecological. It's going to slowly repair my Matic over time when I'm not using it. Let's put that in here, craft that, and you have to be really... You see, it's one shot click. If I went too hard on the Matic, I would probably have taken down half of my floor at the same time. It's super efficient. Still only one spice. This is not going well. I can tell I have my third, uh, my fourth spice. I can't get my diamond taco, and I'm not going out there without a diamond taco. It's way too dangerous, honestly. It's something you shouldn't even entertain the idea of going without it. So while we're waiting and it's night, let's just harvest this tree. Mm. I didn't keep any on me, so that's always bad. Let's make another crook. I just want to be able to harvest this and take it out of the way. You always need wood, so it's always a good thing to keep on working. Look at this. Wow. The speed at which a mattock, a carbon mattock can harvest is just kind of ridiculous, to be honest. The carbon tool is also another thing I forgot to do in my first season early on. And as you can see, they're so good. You need it early on because it makes everything so much easier. So I don't need that. I'm going to keep this in case. Don't need that. Do I have more torches? Yeah, okay. I made torches to go to the nether. I'm not going to need that in the nether. I'm going to want a second set of cobblestone. And this. And now I'm only going to keep seven. The reason I'm keeping only seven is I can't craft, uh, I can't smelt more than I need one for one ingot and the, this is going to be three more ingot which I want for repair still no spice drop this is kind of sad uh, yeah I'm going to take a risky run turn this off to make sure that I'm on my uh, what's it called on my on my I forget my term and that's why it's not good I forgot to restart this I want to be on my shuriken so that if there's any problem, I can quickly shuriken the bird away. And by shuriken it away, I mean completely kill it. Let's put all of this in here. And I couldn't put this in there because it was already too full. And let's just make sure everything's good. Okay, so we have our carbon mattock, which is going to help us get a crazy amount of soul sand if we find soul sand because we're going to be able to shift click and grab all the soul sand. We have our carbon pickaxe which is going to help us harvest anything that we want. We have our gates to be able to clear the way. Torches to never be in the dark because in the nether there's something in the dark that you don't want to you don't want to see it appear. I'm going to keep my flint and steel on me so that if whatever happened the portal explodes I can relight it. The carbon, uh, not the carbon, sorry. The obsidian will never be destroyed, but at least we'll be able to recraft the portal. Then uh, we have, we're going to have the diamond taco before we leave for sure. I, like I said, I don't want to leave without a diamond taco, which is the only thing that I don't have control over in the playthrough. And I can't leave until I have that and I don't have control of how long it's going to get to get a drop. Basically, I need to get a um, zombie to get one of those drop. And there's no guarantee that you get a zombie in this game. Sometimes you can be playing and get like four spice in 30 seconds. Uh, I didn't get the drop. So the problem with this is I wish I was able to get the drop from the birds because the drop of the birds are the one that gets you the mob chunk. And I still need one more mob chunk to make the blaze seed. The blaze seed is the one thing that's going to be the most important. If you've watched the first season, you know that you need the blaze seed because you want to make blaze rod. And going to the nether for blaze rod is too dangerous. The glowstone seed is not going to be a problem because the mob farm does produce enough glowstone to make this not an issue. And I wish this worked a little bit better because now if I'm 
I feel I'm kind of stuck. Like I said, don't want to go to the nether without my, um, what's it called, without my diamond tackle. I might go to the nether, and follow me on this, I might go to the nether just to set up the portal at the front. It's scary, but if I can't move forward because of the spice, I don't want to completely stop the playthrough. But now we have the obsidian that we needed, which means I can make the three last reinforcement plate, and time to make our shuriken invincible, or indestructible. So one, two, and three, and now we have a completely indestructible shuriken. So I can just spam this shuriken like crazy and never have to worry about running out of bullet. So this is a very good thing because it's going to make sure that I can use it as much as I want in the nether and just spam that. Because the one problem of not having it on indestructible that if you go to the nether and you have some mobs spawning one after another, you might not be in a situation where you can actually repair it. And if you can't repair it and it's out, then the only thing left is an axe or a stone spear and that makes no sense. This also acts like an axe. As you can see, it has an attack damage of 29. So I don't need the axe anymore. I'm not gonna keep this on me. I'm not gonna keep the crook, although I was keeping it in case. Yeah, let's just keep the crook in case there's a tree before we leave. Oh, no, those two. So the other thing I wanna get started on, and this is really the pre to my next episode, is ender tanks. So ender, and ender tank this one right here i want to make these ender tank because i want to be able oh <laughs> that's why i needed to go to the nether first because of the blaze rod i kind of forgot that little detail what about the ender chest <coughs> sorry uh i need a space right here this ender same thing oh that's why it was in the next episode i was wondering why I fly that for next episode because I need the blaze rod. And the reason I want this is that I want to be able to produce the lava there, but I want to bring some lava downstairs because I don't want the power island to be there. This is my crafting island, and the processing of the resource is also something that's going to be part of my island. So the other thing that I wanted to do is I'm going to make another elevator like so, which means I'm, oh, no, not this one. So elevator, this one, and I don't think I have enough wool, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'll make some more wool. And I need six, I think. Let's make another elevator. And the reason I'm doing that is that I want to have a bottom uh, platform under here. So where here is my crafting and easy storage, the one under is going to be my machine and processing. So once I'm done with that, I just waiting for the day now that's good I'll keep an eye on always watching to see if I get my second spice no second spice and I'll go under here and I'll start setting up my secondary island which I'm going to make out of one kind of cobblestone that I haven't decided yet uh, this is the road this is what I use in between stuff and I think I'm going to make my next one out of one of the panel chisel Let's grab this chisel and big tile panel. I'm going to use this Celtic. It just looks weird and it's different than what I usually use. So I'll go down here and that's only one down, which I don't like. I want this to be a bit lower, unfortunately. So let's grab some cobblestone and let's go shift down one more because I like a height of three. So I should be able to break this one and then start my island set up with this. Oh, and look, there's a zombie down there and there's a small couple. Oh, remember when my lava broke and it went down, it actually made a small island there, which is kind of funny. I didn't expect that. So my elevator has to be this block right here. Let's put the elevator here and perfect. So my island is going to go all around here like so. Uh, one more, yeah. One, two, three. Oh, this makes a weird pattern when you link them together. 
it's not the look I was expecting, but you know, it'll do. It doesn't need to be perfect all the time. We'll break that and like this. Don't need that one. I'm gonna leave it there, but I don't really need it. Gonna remove that one. And like so. This lined up. Yeah, perfect. So that's kind of how I want it. By doing this like so, we're going to be able to set up a room down here. I don't want to use all of my oak fence, but this is basically the way it's going to look. Uh, like so. And I'm not going to put another one down because this is the uh, the sorry the bottom level right here is where my machinery will be. I'm just going to go like this, like that, not in the corner, and like that. I'm just trying to concentrate not to make a mistake. I really don't want to fall to my death. And these are going to be the fence gate here, here, and here, which means this is going to be in the way and bothering me. So let's put down one brick road right here. But when we exit here, we can just go up easily like that here. And to make sure that we don't fall safety first always, we're going to put something like that. So that now I can't fall here. Perfect. And I don't need to put anything here because like I said, it's going to be machinery, 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 machinery. All of these side are always going to be machinery. This is where I'm going to be processing stuff. So let's go back up and we're done with the setup of this island. I'm gonna get rid of all of this and I'm going to make some more oak fences. Just wanna make sure that we have everything for the nether. The nether is more important than anything. And jungle wood, let's make some more sticks and let's make some more oak fence, like so. I'm just going to keep a stack of 64. Might be exaggerating on the oak fence gate, but I just wanna make sure. When I go to the nether, I need to have everything that I, I need to survive. So let's go back there. We're going to be putting the carbon in here. The reason I'm putting... Oh, derp. It's waiting for carbon. So let's get rid of the molten lead. And... Yeah, I'm going to put the raw carbon right here and remove all of this. And put it back up here. So the reason I'm doing this, like I said, that's six, I need the seven. I need the missing um, carbon to finish this uh, this ingot, and I wanna get some more ingot to repair my tool. When I go to the nether and I'm going to start harvesting netherrack and soul sand, I might use these and damage them a lot. So that's the way I'm going to get back my resource quickly. So one last time like this for the uh, lead and then my carbon should be ready. So let's just wait for this to be finished uh, Perfect and now let's switch to oh Really I'm out of lava. This is the one thing I didn't plan out So this is very easy to resolve. I have enough obsidian. So for now, I'm just going to set this to disabled and I'm going to go get my bucket. And by the time I come back, since I have five crucible working on this, I should be able to get some lava when I come back. Let's go back and... No, I still have to wait a little bit. Unfortunately, so that was really badly planned from me. Let me just put this gold in here. And we're going to go check if we got our next spice because honestly, the only thing that's making me run around and wait right now is having my fourth spice. Really? I am really not getting lucky on the zombie spawning. And I'm worried that it's because there's already a zombie downstairs. I don't want to go at water level, but I feel like I don't have a choice. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to try and see if I can kill that zombie. Oh, creeper. Where's the zombie though? He's in the water somewhere? Hmm. Okay, so the zombie ended up dying or despawning. Unless it was all my imagination, I didn't see a zombie. 
but that's not what's preventing us from getting the spice hopefully and like i said until we get the spice we're kind of stuck but that mob farm has start to has got to start generating zombie faster than this let's see if we have the love at least so that we can at least unlock one of the things that we're doing and yeah two buttons perfect let's just go bucket of lava bucket of lava and if there's more i'm just gonna put everything i can oh set no just only one bucket which is enough it's going to fill this with three now i get my sublimated carbon and this should finish processing perfect so if anything else at least i'll have my carbon for repair that's another carbon ingot that should be my last carbon ingot yeah so these are my three carbon ingot and now i can go back which means that now the only thing that we're waiting on absolutely the only thing we're waiting on is that four spice because like i said i really don't want to take the risk of dying just because i don't have a diamond and the one thing that we might do since i have the golden apple but ugh, it scares the heck out of me taking that chance but i might just go to the nether to set up our first like surrounding to make sure that we're okay and you know what i can't wait forever on this so i'm just going to go and take the chance so let's go to the nether and what we're going to do like i said is only just set up a small base to survive and we're going to have to craft really fast uh not craft build really fast because i don't want to be there longer than i need to the good thing about the nether portal is that on the other side the nether portal is going to be full size without the uh, with the corners in which means it makes it a bit easier to build so let's exit <sighs> okay so survive that let's see can i make a third level Survive that also. That's three deep. Let's make it four deep. Oh, and I'm hearing mob noise. Et voila. Perfect. So we've survived that. And the reason I wanted to do that is that now we can set up the chest and the crafting table. So crafting table, chest, 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 chest. Oh, there's another side to this. I also have to close the other side. I was going to be forgetting this. So let's go quickly. Oh god, this is so scary. And let's... Where's my pickaxe? Right here. Let's put a torch right there and... Fence gate. Perfect. And you know what? Another fence gate right here. I don't like this fence gate right there. So this I'm going to replace with a cobblestone okay so the back door is closed and the front door is closed i also need some light in the front door and now i feel a bit more comfortable taking a peek outside oh this is a wow Now I have a mob on my main island. So I should have put a gate here. Is it coming back? Oh, this is going to be dangerous when I go back. That was a real derp on my part, but at least it kept me alive. So that's an old trick that you can do. That by having both sides, if a mob runs after you, you just cross on the other side and mobs can't cross the portal. Once they hit the portal, they have to travel through. But what I was trying to say is that we have a really good place here because what I can basically do is start cutting in the side of this mountain here. Like so. And now we have access to netherrack. And once we go inside of that, we might hit some ores on the Oh, like I just said, we might hit some ore on the way. So now I can show you my extraction tactic. What I want to do. Ooh, nether prosperity ore. I want this. Let's put a gate right there. 
and shift right click this and everything falls then I can turn on back the magnet and if it had generated a mob well I would be safely hidden away from that mob behind the gate so I'm not liking how open this is I'm going to close it down a little bit and now I'm going to close the gate and harvest the nether ethereum ore which all goes under like this and no mob dropped because well no mob. oh hmm let's can I also get this perfect and now let's close this and I don't want to have a three high so the moment that I can I close it back up so now we're getting quartz and we're getting a lot of other good resource and let's see if we can find the other side of this let's put some torches down so not here I'm gonna put one torch here and then one two three four five six seven gate oh no one further then one two three four five six Uh, so one two three gate and I'm just going to oh and this is basically the other side of this nether space so let's close this and <coughs> this is kind of a small section but I'm also going to go that way to see and don't go too far without putting any torches down there's some iron here but I don't really need iron right now so let's see how far I can go with this. Let's break this and continue with breaking this. And now let's just switch to the shuriken. What's here? Ooh, this is open. So always be careful. Always make sure that you have a roof over your head. And we can go around like this because like we're kind of protected. And what is that big mob? Can I get it from here? No, I can't hit it from here, which means it also can't hit me from there. Unless it throws fire. How deep is this? Like, f ooh, it's coming. Whoa, purple fire. Purple fire, so let's get out of the way and heal. And let's see, I thought I'd killed it. Oh, I did. Oh, this is one of the doom like mob. Strafing. Ha ha ha. Strafing for the win. And it makes small spiders. Can I attract everything in here? Oh, this is risky. This is risky. This is risky. Risk taken and fence gate. Perfect. Oh, I'm loving this start. This is probably one of the best portal. I'm going to shift click this. Ugh. Yes, throw away my thing. Shift click this. Close the gate and see it, it spawned the mob. So that's why we want to do this. You, you see these um, these particles? It means that there's a John Bam or an M1 Jordan Allen something creature. Let's just try and have it come at us. Oh, maybe I killed it. Always have a safe way to back away. Grab these resource and we're just going to harvest this Inferium. Oh, and <laughs> you saw the monkeys at the bottom. So there are some mobs. We have to be a bit more careful now. And let's go send back. Oh, you saw it. Did you guys see it? It's right there. This is the magic monkey. Let's try and hit it with the shuriken. Hello. Okay, so I can at least hit those. Oh, there was a, a, oh wow, I have a name block. So let's close all of this, and this is why we did this, so that we can easily come drop resources in here. What I want from this trip, I want soul sand, I haven't found any yet. I want some inferior essence, I've got four, 16 prosperity shard. Uh, what else do I need? Let's look at the quest book quickly. So the quest book says we need to find uh, 16 soul sand. We've got the nether quartz. We've got the blaze rust. So basically we only need the soul sand now. 
Although I say that, I want to have 12 stack of netherrack because we need to make some compressed netherrack. I'm just going to try something quickly. What if I shift click this? <gasps> that was a bad idea. Because not only that, I completely forgot to turn my magnet on, so now... Perfect, magnet is on. And I have my resource. And now there's another whole John Bam monkey around. Let's kill these. Where's the monkey? Don't know why I can't kill those from here. Oh, the monkey's right there. Oh! No, did I forget? I think... Keshadia? You can't kill those with ranged weapon. But I can hit it with a matic. And it seems to be dead. Great! Oh! Those explodes. And I fell. Oh god. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Let's go back to safety. Okay, so these are the mobs that I have to kill immediately because as you saw, they blow up things, which is not good. What's in here? That's another one of these M1 Jordan Allen monkey. That one's dead. And I have fire everywhere. <gasps> but that's why you want to have these gates. You saw how he couldn't cross the gates? So I can safely back away and now I'm going to wait to heal. But we have everything that we need except the netherrack. And I'm not going back without the netherrack. I need the netherrack to be able to make my machine chassis. It's just that I don't like having these uh, exploding nightmare thing around my base. Oh no, I don't have the soul sand. I have to take a quick peek. Nope, nope, Succubus, Reaper, nope, I don't, I'm, I completely changed my mind, I don't want to do this. <laughs> so, the Reaper you don't want to kill. That's the only one mob you don't want to kill, and the reason, you know what, I'm going to kill it, and I hope I won't regret it. The reason you don't want to kill Reaper, is that they spawn a Reaper Ghost. And there's only one way to try and kill those. I'm going to try and make it happen. Do you hear the ghost? So the ghost is going to go temporarily in front of me. So the way of killing it is you back away quickly and you just spam that shuriken. See? Oh! One hit, one hit shot! I got so lucky. But I did a lot of research and I found that's how you kill these ghosts. You back away and now that we have... Oh god, that got scary for a second. So that's how you kill the reapers. You back away as fast as you can, and while backing, you just spam your shuriken. And it's going to travel in front of you, and when and if it does travel in front of you, that's when you get to kill it. No. Oh. Let's back away again. Everything wants to kill you in the nether. I still don't have my soul send. I have to find the soul send, because I can't really leave here without the soul send, or else this quest is not completed. And if the quest is not completed... You can't finish this plate. You can't craft everything that you want. And let's take my easy in. Let's take a quick look around. I wish I'd brought some glass so I could see around. Ooh. That's a bath bathometh something. That's not a succubus. What's up here? I like going up here because worst case scenario I can fall back down quickly to try and escape. And soul send! But now I have to escape. Oh, this is so stressful because I don't have my diamond tackle. But we found some soul sand and... You know what? I think there's an easy way to get to it. Let's try this. So this is the way up for sure. Just not sure I did it the best way that I could. Let's close this back down. Back up, I mean. Where are my torches? Did I put my torch away? Because I really do need my torches. Am I out of torches? Oh, no. Okay. Whew. So I just put my torch away. So let's close. Really? Don't leave a gate open. Perfect. So 
So let's go up here. And like so. And like so. And so technically here, there should be... Oh, this is perfect. And I think that I'm getting close to where I actually want to be. Yeah, the soul sentence in this tower. So let's break a little bit around. And this is where we're going to put a gate. Fence gate, right here. You know what? I have to say a good thank to Creator 8 because he's the one who suggested me this seed. And this seed is amazing. Honestly, I don't think I could have had a better portal placement. Let's just turn this on to see what we attract in our stuff. Perfect. And now let's go and continue with this. I'm taking a deep breath. This is stressful. No mobs around. Ah! There is a mob. There is a mob. I lied. I lied. Stupid monkey. These monkey are so scary and dangerous. So let's go back again. Let's try a second time. Quick look around. Nope. Go away. Go away. It's just listening for noise. If I'm not talking, guys, I'm really listening for noise. I'm just need to make sure that there's no mob around. So I have to listen for the noise. And that's the soul sand. Shift right click. Turn the magnet on. And I'm out. 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 Ooh. 6430. Oh, and I'm good. We got everything that we wanted. This is a perfect nether trip. Well, everything that I wanted. So that's the small lie. I got everything that I need for the quest. But I just have... Let, let me take all of the netherrack and I'll show you what my problem is right now. So this netherrack, I can transform into compressed netherrack like so. Let's make the max that we can. And this compressed netherrack is going to make four double compressed netherrack. I want more. I need two sets of double compressed netherrack. Is this another reaper? Oh no, this is a zombie. Okay, so this one's not as scary. We can kill that, no problem. Perfect. So let's continue. Like I said, I don't want to go back without having all of the netherrack that I need for my craft. And I'm opening things up a little bit just so it can stay there and die. And now I have to wait to heal. So let's back away here. Ugh. So dangerous, the nether. That's 33, that's still not enough. Let's hit this Inferium Essence. Oh, I didn't need Inferium Essence, what am I doing? What I want is Netherrack. And get stuck there. <gasps> Some of them explodes. Okay. Mm. I, I guess this is going to have to be enough. <laughs> oh. Can I get enough netherrack? And you know what? I'm dying. I can't wait here. Oh! No! I did something dumb. I don't have enough food. And you know what's waiting for me back at the base, right? Uh, I don't know what to do about this. Because back at the base, there's some bad guys waiting for me. So let me grab this and a soul sand. Uh, as much, I don't need that much, but if I have it, I might as well bring it back, that too. Don't need anything from here, and I'm going to have to trust 
I'm going to eat this fish tackle just because at least it's going to heal me a little bit. And I want to put back a gate here because I don't want to have any risk for when I come back. And close this in. Nope. Pop this. Close this in. Like so. And I hate that there's still this stoop. Oh, it's done now. So, am I really taking this? Shift right click and close. And that's perfect. I'm done. <laughs> now I'm done for real. So the only reason I went back in is I was really pissed that I didn't have enough double compressed. Now, hopefully I have enough double compressed. What is going on? No, come on. It's not enough. And that's lava. That's not good. And back away. Please tell me that's enough. I'm really not happy with my trip unless I can make my two machine that I want to make. So I'm taking way more risk than I should, but at this point, I just want to get my machines. Perfect. So I'm done. Let me put that on and let's just grab my golden apple and let's travel back. Once we travel back, I hopefully I'm going to be on the right side. Really? Arachnophobia! I come back to an event. <laughs> and this, and this, and that, and close all of this. And juice. I'm so stressed right now. I need my juice. I need to eat. Oh. So here's what I was hoping. Remember something crossed over. I was hoping that my cannon killed it, and I think that it did work, and we're now back and safe, and I could put everything in here, and if I don't ever have, oh yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the nether, but I've done enough that I don't have to go back to the nether right now. It means that we can now move on, so let's claim my reward right here, let's see what we got, a bell, darn you. Stupid bell, and we can look at the next quest. The next quest is Magma Crucible and Fluid Transposer. Next quest is Ender IO Machine Chassis. We're going to be able to make two of those, and then we're going to be back to the hunting nether creature. And we saw Succubus very easily. We saw a zombie, so we should get. Oh no, it's not a zombie, it's a pigment. So we might have to hunt a little bit, but we're such in a good spot. And I have to admit, I find it a bit crazy. I'm, I'm not super happy with this situation in the game. The position of where you appear in the nether is all the difference between being able to have a good start or not. Dead, and I can remove this now, can remove that now, can remove that one, and... Oh no, that one I kept because that was my back. I want to have my back safe. I'm just curious to see now. Oh, you see? There's still a creature back there. Can I hit it from here? Nope. But I can hit it from here for sure. Oh, my Reaper is never dead. It was just not on the right side. <laughs> oh boy. So let's address that Reaper. I don't want it to be alive. And here, there's a lot of space, so I'm all good. Perfect. So that is a great way to end. I'm just going to go back there because I never closed the gate. Yeah, I just want to close this gate until I have player player pressure plate. I need to make sure that this is close. Go. Okay. Make sure this is close and now can put everything back in there. And I can't believe I went to the nether without the diamond tackle and to be fair the only reason I felt comfortable was because I got my golden apple and I think the golden apple is superior to the golden ta uh, to the tackle. As you can see, still don't have my spice. So still, I would still not have gone to the nether, which is not a good thing. I don't know why I'm being so unlucky with the spice. I got three early on and now I'm not getting any anymore. But to be fair, it doesn't really matter. We got what we wanted. We can end this episode here. And you know what? I have an idea. Let me grab soul sand, a nether rack, 
Soul Sand and Netherrack, an Inferium block, and a Quartz block. So the reason I'm doing that is just, it's just for fun. Every, all the time I'm always like, how can I make a setup to get a, a perfect picture for the end of the episode? Well, that's how. So Nether Quartz, Inferium block, Netherrack, and on top of all of this, a Soul Sand. So that's how I can end my episode. We got everything from the Nether Adventure that we wanted. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!